Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime, it's Tuesday, it's reset day, the maintenance just ended, so let's have a look at the vendor reset and hopefully they have some very, very good stuff in store for us. But there's only one way to find out, so let's dive in the first one. And there we are at the countdown vendor. We have the Invisible Hand, the Anarchist Cookbook and the Matador for sale here. Of course, everybody will look out for that Matador, but it has double yellows on there, so it's not worth picking it up. Same for the Anarchist Cookbook. Repair skills, armor regeneration with that perfectly. Wicked, of course, you could go for it for the armor regeneration and then roll that repair skills away. Especially if the Golem still stays at 2% armor regeneration after project resolve this could be something for a new armor generation build while you are running around with wicket then we have the invisible hand could be something a little bit low on assault rifle damage this of course comes with perfect allegro but if you're still looking for it you can pick it up roll that reload speed away for some damage you target out of cover for example and then you have to optimize four percent assault rifle damage to get this to god roll and then you could run around with it. But that's pretty much it. Let's jump over. And there we are at the White House. And the first and only thing you want to pick up at the White House is this Zero F's chest. Named Badger's chest, of course, with perfectly unbreakable on there. And it already comes with 4.5% critical hit chance. So you can roll that explosive resistance away. Of course, that armor will still be on there. But for now, you have your armor, critical hit chance, critical hit damages. I think a lot of people can enjoy this, especially if you're going for a shotgun build. And there we are at the clan vendor. And I gotta be honest with you, there's nothing really to pick up here, in my humble opinion at least. Maybe, maybe you can pick up the 11% protection from elites. But I think that almost everybody has their 12% already. But if you don't have it yet, pick it up at the clan vendor, the 11%. It will protect you from all the elites and can get a few very, very nice builds rolling. And there we are at the campus. Not really worth traveling for. Maybe you can go for it for this Grupo mask. 12.9% weapon damage, 4.7% critical hit chance already on there, and headshot damage. So if you want to go for crit chance and headshot damage, you could even roll the weapon damage away for armor core, or roll the headshot damage away for some critical hit damage, and you only have to optimize it a little bit to get it to a god roll grupo mask. And the rest isn't really worth it. And there we are at the theater. The map is for sale and that's probably the only one that you might want to pick up. It's not the greatest one out there, but of course it comes with the third attribute, 10% armor on kill. This gun comes with the in sync talent and then next to that, of course, damage to armor and shotgun damage are a little bit on the lower side. So if you're still looking for it, if you can't find it in the open world or wherever you farm, pick it up at the theater. And then we have the castle and that is not worth traveling for. Just skip it and just jump over to the next one or hopefully a next one. Because we don't really have that much must buys this week. And then starting with DZ East for the first DZ vendors. We have the Night Watcher. Of course this comes with 100% scanner pulse haste. But not really the best one out there. You can just farm for it instead of paying 152 DZ crets. The rest isn't really worth it as well. We can pick up another Yal gear. Again, this is DZ exclusive gear and you can only pick this up with DZ credits. It comes with almost maxed out armor, 8% headshot damage and 4% weapon handling. Not the best combo you might want to be looking for for Yal gear, but if you're still looking for it, if you want to buy some gear, if you have too much DZ credits, Pick it up at DZ East. And then for DZ South, just skip it. It's not worth it. Too expensive, too low on rolls and too low on mods if you ever pick those up at the DZ vendor. So let's jump over to the last one. And that is DZ West. And again, not really worth traveling for. Just skip it over. So let's see what they have in store for us in, in New York, shall we? Because the DZs aren't worth it. And then for New York, again, just skip it. 
or at least the first vendor. The first vendor we can skip, so let's have a look at the last vendor of the day with Roy and hopefully he has some better stuff in store for us. And there we are at Roy, the last vendor of the day. And it is again not really worth it. Maybe, maybe if you want to pick up this CTAR 21. It's not that high in attributes. It already comes with damage to armor. So you can roll that Thunderstrike talent away. But then you are, of course, forced to use damage to armor. And it's gonna set you back quite a lot in optimizations. But in my humble opinion, that's pretty much the only thing you might want to pick up in the last vendor of New York and the last vendor of today. So hopefully tomorrow Cassie has some more stuff in store for us. Of course, I will show you your video of Cassie closing off this weekly vendor reset. But that's pretty much it for me today. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you're still here, you are a freaking legend. Make sure to like the video if you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form. And of course, if you're new here, you want to be updated about the Division 2, the Division Universe and the future Division 3, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime. Out.